Hi, I'm Scott Bose, a mechanical engineer with Wiss Janney Elsner Associates in Houston, Texas. And today we're going to talk about fitness for service with pressure equipment and pressure vessels. The American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASME, provides rules for the fabrication and design of pressure equipment to be used in the United States and internationally. The underlying premise of the Fitness for Service standard, jointly produced by ASME and API, the American Petroleum Institute, is to recognize that sometimes pressure equipment can experience corrosion, distortion, cracking, or some other form of damage that takes it outside its original design intent. The standard is laid out in three levels. The first, level one, is generally very fast to perform and gives you a good understanding of whether a vessel is fit for continued service. If the vessel doesn't meet those requirements, you can generally move to a level two or eventually a level three analysis. Level three analyses are usually very involved, requiring the skill of expert engineers and advanced computer simulation. An example from our recent work in the field is a corrosion at tray rings in a process column. Vapors are passed through trays at each level which support a liquid level and the liquid removes impurities from the vapor. At certain points in the column, impurities can collect and create corrosion in the splash zone of the tray ring. In the area around a tray, the shell can sometimes be corroded right at the tray ring. And we can assess it using the methods of part five local thinning. In this case, we're going to draw a simplified example where we're plotting the depth of corrosion versus the length of the corrosion area. The acceptable depth as a function of the length of the corrosion area can be plotted like so. And if we consider that the depth is going to increase over time, what might start as an acceptable point, say here, over time grows in length and grows in depth until we reach the acceptability line. But what happens if the vessel exceeds the thickness limits that we've set for ourselves? Does that mean the vessel has to be retired immediately? No. In most cases, we can perform a 579 level 3 assessment of the corrosion that we found. Using advanced analysis software like Abacus, we're able to establish that even corrosion that exceeds the limits of these simplified methods can oftentimes be tolerated for short periods of time. Here, the inspectors took measurements on equal intervals from the top of the tray ring until the corrosion had been exited. At the various inspection points, they found thicknesses that we model in this software. With the model constructed, we can proceed to meshing, and eventually, we apply loads, establish boundary conditions, and run the model until we predict failure. Not only can we analyze the vessel as we found it today, but we can also use historical records to estimate the amount of corrosion that might happen in the future. From that point, we can establish the maximum future corrosion allowance of the vessel and then project the amount of time the client might have with this vessel before they need to repair it or replace the section. In this case, the level three assessment that we performed was able to provide the client with an additional three to five years worth of service before they needed to bring it down for repair or replacement. Those additional years gave our clients time to plan and execute a repair strategy that they could do on their schedule and on their budget. Thanks for stopping by the Janney Technical Center.